gets you fuel economy and trains bubbles. And those bubbles sweep along the hull. We've done a lot of modeling to minimize this effect, but it's about impossible to keep the bubbles off the bottom. So, hi, uh, my name is Chris Ramsos. Um, I'm the data presence systems engineer for the regional class research vessel program at Oregon State University. It's a mouthful. Um, I am actually a native of Pennsylvania, which is a landlocked place for the most part. Um, so you might wonder, how did, how did somebody like that get into oceanography and designing uh, research vessels? Um, Actually, as a kid, I was really into fishing. And it may be a common story, but I really wanted to do something related to fish. Found myself after undergraduate out here at Hatfield Marine Science Center, working with Oregon Fish and Wildlife, doing salmon research. Um, met some really amazing people here at the Hatfield Marine Science Center. They thought that I should pursue a uh, graduate degree uh, in marine resource management. Uh, from there, I did seafloor mapping for about 15 years, and I think that experience, you know, at Oregon State University, doing seafloor mapping, going all around the world on research vessels, kind of led me to where I am today, designing a data system for research vessels. A day in the life is a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of project management. It's a lot of um, taking a look at the technology that's out there and the um, science drivers that are really driving our research project and looking for solutions um, that we can implement that make our um, vessels, world-class vessels that people want to use. Um, so, you know, I do a little bit of programming. I do, um, I do, I get my hands dirty. I go to see a lot on, and I work with uh, other scientists. I work with educators and try to figure out how to make, to, you know, how to put the right technology on the ship that people can use. And that really makes our, our science more efficient. If you have, is, have an interest if you really love fish or you really love biology, then go for it. Get out there, um, you know, try to meet somebody that is in the field and you know, maybe do some volunteer work. People in our field are always looking for help and really want to share what they do with you. So um, it just takes that first, it just kind of takes getting your foot in the door somewhere. And so I say go for it, you know, send an email, make a phone call. Um, I get them all the time and, and, and they're exciting. Thank you.